that video genuinely feels like about four weeks ago. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not even joking. Like, it is the third, and it feels like New Year's was, was honestly, like, so far away ago. It's, it's so weird. I see, like, I actually haven't left my house in three days, like, since New Year's Eve. I got home from being out, and I haven't left. I've also kind of been in like a low kind of like wee depressive slump for the last three days. I kind of was putting them to hangover and then I woke up today and I was like, you can't just blame it on a hangover for three days, do you know what I mean? Oh, and do you know what, I was on my memories as well, right? I was looking on my Snapchat memories. And the past two years, on the third, I've been like, why am I so depressed? <laughs> why am I so sad? Must just be the new year. Must just, <coughs> must just like, really get to me and much like I'm thinking that like you do so much like like you see so many people you're like like you kind of drink so much over the new year as you're kind of like out all the time you're seeing people it must be that like the new year's just finished and now I'm like grieving the new year but then I'm also grieving like the festive period like so like my whole body like is like mentally and physically recovering from what is just from what I've just put it through for the last like two weeks or whatever so it's like, it's been like running on fumes, and then the new year finishes, and then it's like, <gasps> brave. Do you know what I mean? It's very, very odd. I'm so very grateful that the schools do not go back. Like, I don't go back to work until the 8th. But even that seems a bit like, what, it's a bit soon. I'm not going to lie. <coughs> oh my goodness, and I've had this cough for like over a week as well, so. It's basically just not went away from when I was unwell. Before we come off, so that's really, really great. But I feel like I've been a little bit more productive. Yes, like when I had, so we went out for New Year's and then like some people come back here. And then when I woke up the next day, I was like, oh, my house is like tidy. Like it, it wasn't like, like you could tell people had been in because there was cups at the sink, but it, like it wasn't a mess. It was like, there was just like clutter. Do you know what I mean? Like, whereas I feel like last year I was like, oh my god, I was like, my house! But there was long people here last year. This year, you know what, I, it's not the people that I spent it with, because I really enjoy, I really, the people that I spent New Year's with, loved, that was so much fun. But the actual evening itself, I didn't rate it, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's a bit because like me and Caitlin's plans were just like so up in the air. Like, we didn't actually have set plans. We were just kind of like, oh, we'll just wing it. So it was a bit like, oh, like, what do we do? Where do we go? Next year, I'm not having any of that. I feel like I want to go away next year for New Year's. Because, I don't know, I feel like i just seen so many people away this year and I just thought, I wish I went away. Do you know what I mean? But it is what it is. 2024. Bring it on, baby. I've just did my first, like, online food shop because... Well, uh, so I had my secret Santa and then I like fed my friends the secret Santa. I bought food but then I also like fed them food that was here. And then on New Year's and people were here after we were out like, people were like, oh, I'm hungry and I was like, do you want me to cook you some chicken nuggets? So I cooked them food. And then there was no food in my house. So I've literally, for the, the first and the second of January, I, it was takeaways, I'm not going to lie. I think I had a McDonald's, Chinese and a Domino's in the space of two days. So, yay, New Year new me. So that was, that was, yeah, that's a great way to start my new year, but I just did my, because I was like, I can't order another takeaway today, so I was like, right, just go and see, like, I've left it so last minute, like, which supermarket has any slots for delivery for, like, food, like, now, like, today. So Morrison's did it in, Iceland did it in, Sainsbury's did it in, and then I went to the Asda, as I did, so I was like, oh, yeah, it's Asda. So it's coming, what time is it? Um, in, like, an hour, between two and three, which is good, it's, like, five to one. I could have got it for like between half one and half two and I thought that's too quick, they're going to get it wrong. You know what I was like? They've only got half an hour potentially to actually get my food and get it in the van. But after receiving my order and also doing other people's orders, I just thought no, give them give, give them that wee bit extra time Mitchell, give them an hour, don't give them that, like just be kind. And I've also been thinking today, like, I remember I did like a New Year's video a couple of years ago and I spoke about how like I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions, like, like thinking about the future stuff and that's 
partly still true. I don't like New Year's resolutions because I don't because I don't stick to them. So that's a me problem. Do you know? But I'm liking the trend just now, the ins and outs. So I did a few of them. So for me, for 2024, pardon me, burped. Oh, another one. 2024, ins and outs. Ins, my ins are eating healthy. Healthy are. Because I don't think, you know, you, you know me and me eating, I'm not able to do it uh, 100%. Eating healthy are. Okay? Keeping my room tidy. Spending more time with family, that's that's a good one. I, I think that's doable. Put in my own happiness first. Because man's a people pleaser. Okay? The next one kind of goes along with that. Saying no. I say yes to too many things. Like, far too many things. And it, and then, well, I mean, in December, I literally triple booked myself. Tr triple booked myself for one evening. How? Like, physically, how does one do that? I just, I need to say no. No, sorry. Not doing that. Put that, that comes up, put my own happiness first, because then if I talk about myself, then I'm not happy because I'm stressed. Oh my god, next one's so cheesy. Chasing my goals without fear. Ooh. <laughs> but like, that is like, that, like, I have things that, that I want to do, so I'm, I'm not gonna, like, that, that's, a, that's quite a personal one. And then ends, another, my last end is getting rid of clothes that I don't wear. I am such a clothes hoarder. I have, like, ten things on Depop. And that took me on a table four months to upload even then ten things because they sat in a pile for months. And then since that, I've uploaded then ten things. I now have like a, a box, like a, like a, what are they, it's like a, is it a futon thing? It's like lifts and you put like blankets and shit in it at the bottom of your bed. Well, I have one of them, it has like some bed and stuff in it. But it's also just filled with clothes. That I'm like, yeah, put them on Depop. Not Depop, Vinted. I've not used Depop in years, I meant Vinted. Why am I saying that? What about, I'm trying to tax us. I will talk about that later. I'm going to do my outs now. My outs. For 2024. Out is takeaways three times a week. Ugh, I've already done my limit this for the 2024. So, but yeah, I'm just a takeaway gal because do you know what it is? I'm lazy. I don't. I'm lazy for like making food. See, the, like the thought of like being like, oh, I have to go and cook a meal. But I'll wait half an hour for one to get delivered when I could have cooked one that time. Yeah. Out is FOMO. That kind of goes along with saying no, because, like, I'll say no to, like, all these stupid, pointless, like, random nights out that, like, I don't need to go to, but it's because I got FOMO, I don't know, like, oh, what happens if, like, something funny happens, who cares, something funny will happen again, FOMO, out is FOMO, FOMO is not going to take over our lives this year, another one that's out, people pleasing, yes, bye, bye, another one that's out, frivolous spending, because me, I have no money management. I think that comes along with like autism and ADHD and stuff. Like it is like a known thing that we physically like, like don't can't manage our time and money. So I really need to try and, and not like I went in town like two days after Christmas and spent eighty pounds on a board game and a bit and a, a Lego. Yeah, okay, the, the Lego's damaged and it looks really cool. I'm looking at it over there, it's Mandalorian. It's so cool. But I didn't need that. Where's it gonna go? I have nowhere to put it. It's now just sat in my living room, um, whatever that's called over there. And as soon as my dad's going to get home, they're going to go get out of the living room. And I'm going to go have nowhere to put it. So what, like, but yeah, that was really great and it was really stimulating for my brain. But it only took me an hour to build. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm finished. £60. Gone in an hour. Great. Didn't need to buy it. Out. Caring what people think. I'm already quite good at that. Like, not caring what people think. But I feel like I want to even more not care what people think. Get me? Out working myself to sickness. That comes along with also saying no and putting my own happiness first. Because I do youth work, I dance, and then I work full time. I like I need to something needs to go. Something needs to go. And I'm gonna need to figure that out for myself. But twenty twenty four, out is working myself to sickness. Because I get I my like what is that called? Your my immune system is really bad. Yeah, okay, that comes along with like not having the best eating habits, but also it comes with not getting enough respite, like I don't get give my time, don't give my body time to rest and heal and recover from what I'm doing, and then I film my week Monday to Friday, and then I'm out with the weekend. Where when am I getting time? So this is why N is saying no and out is FOMO and working myself to sickness because then it means I get time to 
to replenish and to heal. And it also means, do you know what? As well, I, this is, this is, sorry, I'm going on a tangent here. I will get back to my notes. I can't meet, so people are always like, oh, why aren't you dating? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I actually don't have time to date because I, I hate, I went through a period of being like, so like, oh, so lonely, blah, blah, and like hating being alone all the time that I literally filled every second of my day, of my week. Like my weeks are packed. So that I'm not, so that I'm doing something, so that I'm with people. But now, I'm at a point in my life where I'm like, right, I want to start meeting new people, going on dates, doing things, but I can't because my only free days are Saturday and Sunday. Like, I can't just go on a date on like a Tuesday night. Do you know what I mean? Like, or if I started seeing somebody, and they were like, oh, when can I see you? And I'm like, the weekend because I I'm busy until like nine o'clock, half past nine at night. So like, yeah, you can come and see me, but then. You can come and see me and we'll be getting ready to go to bed for work tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? So, so yeah, something needs to go. Um, last out is high screen time. To be very usually when I'm like, it's been really high because I've been off work, but when I'm at work, usually my screen time is like, is like down low. But I want, I would, I would like it to get a little bit lower. Because I, I spend an awful lot of time scrolling. Endless is scrolling. So that's my ins and outs. For 2024. I feel like I try to set myself ones as well. Sorry, I just keep looking at them on my phone. I um, I feel like I try to set my ones as well, like, that were achievable. Because see, if I set myself ones that, like, were unachievable, and then I was, like, literally in, like, two weeks, I was, like, I'm not even done any of that. And it's only been two weeks. I would have just went, goodbye ins and outs, and just not even stuck to any of them. But I feel like because, like, they are achievable. Like, some of them are achievable short term, some of them are achievable long term. Like, I can, I can get these done. I feel like I can do these. I feel like, here is, I'm gonna, oh, I wasn't gonna tell anyone this. But I need accountability. Okay. I want to do dry January. I know that doesn't sound like a big thing. Okay, it doesn't sound like, oh, you just want to do dry like you don't want to drink. But, if you, if you know me, you know, I'm, I'm literally drink, I literally drink every weekend, and it is it's not good. It's not healthy. It's not a uh, it's not a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so I want to for dry January. Like people always say when they come out of dry January, like they feel good, or when they don't drink for a month, like they feel they feel good. I don't think I'm not. The longest break I've had from like drinking in the past like six months is probably like a week, two weeks. There's no need. There's literally no need. Yeah. So anyway, so basically, I want to dry January. I've not really got any nights out in January. We're going out for tea for Emily's birthday, but like I was just out for tea, and then they were like, "Oh, we want to go for drinks after," but like that's fine. Like I could just not drink. Do you know what I mean? That's only one night, so I wasn't going to tell anyone because then if I didn't stick to it, then nobody could moan at me. But then that's not holding myself accountable, and that's not. Being like, that's not actually wanting to do it, do you know what I mean? Because then if I'm like, well, I haven't told anyone, I can just have a drink. And then I would just drink. Because I'd be like, nobody knows I set myself that private goal. But if I set myself this goal publicly, people can hold me accountable. So, if you see me drinking this month, ask me, is that alcohol free? If it's not alcohol free, literally slap me in the face or take it off of me. Okay, I want to be held accountable for this. Make me feel bad, honestly, make me feel like the worst human being ever for not sticking to this goal that I've set myself. I want it, I need it. I'm not gonna lie, I keep checking the time, it's been 10 minutes since I ordered that food delivery, maybe I should have said it for half past one. Cause I'm actually really hungry, there's no food in my house. My <laughs> This is so pathetic! I have just, how have I just ordered one bag of shopping from Asda? Oh. I am actually a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> but do you know what? How was I going to get there? Man doesn't drive. That's that's what needs to go on my ends. Ends for 2024. Passing your theory test. Oh my god. Do you know what? At least it's here. At least it's here. Yeah. I really like it when the 
tell them how I am the fighting gravity. It's shined up high. Travel, but there's COVID on the planes there. Now, Vermont, mom, she forgot that I existed. It's Christmas, and I'll dream each night of some. Have to do now. Listen, I I've been putting on having my tea all day. Oh, obviously, because you only eat it at tea time. But that's not what I meant. I mean it because Traitors is back today, people. And if you don't celebrate it, get to celebrate it. Honestly, it is the best thing ever. So when it was on, when it was on before, I never properly watched it. Like I I like watched it like. An episode here, there with mum and dad. Mum and dad like really liked it, but I never really watched it. But they did. So when I was off work, like at the end of term, there I was like, I don't want to go and watch a TV show that I'm actually watching. Like I just want to put something on. I was like, oh, I'll go and watch Traitors. That's starting soon. Oh my god, I was hooked. I was hooked. I watched it all honestly, literally two days. Like I actually was hooked. I was like laughing. I was crying. I was like, <gasps> yeah, I was like shouting at the TV when I was like, was, honestly. So I am so excited for it to be back tonight. So I'm trying to wait to like put off my tea for like watching the traitors, but man, just got we just got a little bit hungry. Okay, so and now we have two burgers. They're just I don't know. They're literally burgers with tomato sauce. I'm so plain. I'm not even gonna show you because you're gonna be like, Mitch, all that's revolting. But sin does the job. And I've had three meals today. I don't think I've had like three actual meals the whole time I've been off work. So. Look at that, I'm already starting one of my ends. Healthy eating. Or healthier lifestyle choices. That's a healthier lifestyle choice, isn't it? Three meals? I think so anyway. Well, do you know what? Even if it isn't. I hope you've all had a great first three days of 2024. Mine's have been subpar. Here's to a great, great 2024. I'll see you all soon. And don't forget, don't forget, just because we're in a new year, doesn't mean you don't have to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, and you're watching this video, I've said it before, I'll say it again. What are you watching for? What, what are you watching for? Not, just, just let it right there, like it's right. That thing I like this little That thing I like this little That thing I like this little blah. I mean the dog is liking this little life. He's eating my burger. Was that good? Was that good? Was that good? Ah! Musical boy.